Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Burnham. I am a reflux and general surgeon at Somerville Medical Center. One of the conditions that I treat uh, in patients is something called gastroparesis. Gastroparesis is a problem specifically with the function of the stomach. Our stomach is a pretty complex organ and it's asked to do a lot of different things for us. When we eat a meal or a food bolus, think of that hamburger, our stomach's supposed to stretch or what we call accommodate that food, blow up like a balloon, and hold on to that food for an amount of time while it's digested. And then it's supposed to shift into a part of the stomach called the antrum where it should grind, mill that food into small, tiny pieces. And then it needs to empty, and it needs to empty at an appropriate rate. People with gastroparesis can have a problem with one of those or all of those functions. What are the symptoms of gastroparesis? Well, they can be nausea, vomiting, bloating or fullness. We call that early satiety or even abdominal pain. Those are pretty generic symptoms. And because of that, a lot of patients will be searching for a diagnosis for five years or more. There's a lot of things that can make you feel that way. Most of the time when they take, come see me, they have had some kind of workup, some kind of imaging, or maybe even something called a gastric emptying study. There are various ways to treat gastroparesis. First, we start simple with looking at a list of your medications and seeing if anything you're taking is the contributor. Common medications are gonna be narcotics, or the very popular GLP-1s right now. They're the new hit weight loss drug. They go by the names Manjaro, Wagovi, Semiglutide, Ozempic. Sometimes treating your aspirosis is as simple as stopping those medications. Other times, it's gonna be a little more involved. When we normally start with talking about diet, there are certain things a gastroparetic stomach can handle better different types of foods, so we talk a lot about that. And there are medications that we can try. Most patients have tried those things prior to seeing me. There are medications geared towards treating your symptoms, your nausea vomiting, and some that are aimed at improving the way that your stomach drains with different efficacy. Most of the time, by the time I'm seeing patients, they have exhausted those options and are looking for other therapies and there are some surgical therapies available. One of them is called gastric neurostimulation. <clears throat> the other is something called pyloromyotomy. And the last, which is the most drastic and really the most rare for patients to need, is something called gastrectomy.